dude, who the hell's doing that? <laughs> Get the hell off the line. You've been on there for an hour and a half, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you ain't if you want to make a quick post off. Yeah. There's always one gabby ass on the line. Yep. And then the, then the, you, you yelled at them, and then you didn't want them to hear your conversation. And you knew goddamn well the, <laughs> the minute they hung up, they picked it right back up yeah. again and was listening to what you had to say. They did hold it and hit the button. Yeah. Around here, there were party lines till 75, 1975. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Do you ever see a candlestick phone? Yeah. They, they, My grandmother had, I mean, she had, had an original phone, phone when I was a kid. Up to her house, house and you had to, you know, had the yeah. earphone, phone, hold it up. And then when you, when some, she called somebody, she'd hang up and click the thing two or three times and the operator would come on and she'd say, could you give me a, a call back on the price on, on my call, you know, what the charges yeah. were. And then a couple minutes later, she'd call back and say, your call was 57 cents or, you know, yeah. that way she wrote it down. That way when the bill came, she knew exactly what she owed. Heck, the first job I had, I made 25 cents an hour. And that was a lot of money. No, that was a lousy amount of money, but, <laughs> but as a kid, mowing grass, I got yeah. a quarter an hour. You could also collect all the pop bottles everybody yeah. threw out their windows, and you, you would yep. get two or three cents for a pop bottle, and you could yeah. take them. And the one, nickel, you a, quarter, a nickel for the big ones, two cents for the little ones. Yeah. That's funny. I, always, I used to ride the whole way to Zillion Open from my house and back. And you'd stop and gather up all the pop bottles, and you run over to the store and turn them all in, and you had enough to buy a pop and a candy bar or something, and that was your day's work. <laughs> we used to collect three or four of us guys used to, on Friday night and Saturday night, go out. Everybody went around during the week collected pop bottles, run down to the store, cash them in for Friday night to go out. <laughs> yep. But then couple gallons of gas put in the car. We used to go out here to, or to Spotlight and would take a van out there and would have like 15 guys in the back yeah. of it. When they had that, you know, one night it was like three bucks or something for, for a car, car, load. For a car yeah. load. Would back in and open the doors up and we had a couch <laughs> in there and yeah. would set the couch on the ground and sit there and watch a movie and scream and holler and the guy in front of you get pissed off and put his brakes on so you couldn't see, you know. <laughs> And then you'd start throwing pizza and it would slide over the windshield of his car and then they'd get pissed off and leave. They'd throw the speaker out and you'd see him move down three or four spots. <laughs> ah, the good old days. Uh, they started showing, well, they were X-rated. They weren't, by today's standards, would be on regular TV. They were PG. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but they started showing that and he had three kids yeah. and he because he could see this I mean his house was here and the screen was there and he fought with them he wanted to put a fence up that the kids couldn't see and all kinds of stuff and they fought for years over that and oh, uh, there at 88 no up at uh, blue sky on, oh, on blue 288 sky. up there so he didn't care so all us guys would we all would go over and somebody would turn all the speakers on our cars would be parked facing the screen and of course you didn't have a speaker in your car, but with all the windows down and you turned all the speakers you could find, you went down there and turned them all up high, then you just sat there in your car and you had to pay to watch a movie. They come up and threatened us and Dave said, they're on my property. You put the goddamn fence up like you said you would, then they wouldn't be able to see, would they? And that was the end of it. They never, they could, I mean, they'd get on and shut the speakers all off and 10 minutes later, would, you know, as he's walking that way, we're running down and turning the speakers all back up. <laughs> ran down and run a cable up and cut the wires off the one speaker down there so we could hook into them. At the end of the night, you'd have to get on and jerk on it real hard and wind the cable up so he didn't run over it when he was mowing. And go up there the next next week and the speaker would be fixed. And <laughs> after a while, the guy that fixed him, he didn't even bother fixing that one anymore. He knew it was gonna get cut again. 